Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm the Curly Sewister. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, it's been a while. You haven't seen me for ages. <laughs> I didn't plan on taking such a long break. It's just, yeah, one of those things. Um, of course, how rude. <laughs> Someone's just revving whatever it is, a car. Um, so yeah, this little bad boy that I had kind of got wayside and yes, I stopped filling it in and I had a little look when the last time I filled anything in on it and end of May, so now June, July and today is the 1st of August. So I thought, right, fresh new month. Um birthday month as well yeah it's gonna be my birthday on the 6th so yeah i'm so excited um not that i'm doing anything <laughs> how sad is this i'm gonna be working on my birthday i know sad times because the thing is uh, i don't know if anyone else like this but for me annual leave is a nightmare <laughs> at my work it really is i wish i worked somewhere where i could buy more annual leave i just don't have enough annual leave at all it's not sufficient at all <laughs> i need more um i mean i really shouldn't complain I, I only work three days um so yeah anyway my birthday falls on a Tuesday this year and I just can't justify wasting a day because it's just like a random day in the middle of the week um so it is what it is I take one off a random day for my little boy's birthday but I'm old and ugly enough to just be at work on my birthday <laughs> so one of my colleagues has said that she'll make me a cake though so got that to look forward to and we're going to do a special lunch that day as well so yay <laughs> but yeah i'm hoping um i'm hoping it's just a good day to be fair anyway um got distracted what was i going to say to you yeah so today i just thought i'll get back into the swing of things because i haven't filmed in such a long time tell you what i've been up to ish um and i want to start getting some more plans out there again um so i have been sewing i've been sewing loads of things this is a new make as well um this is the simplicity oh i don't know where the front cover is mm. oh it's the simplicity s9101 basically um put it here next to me i don't know where it's gone but yeah, I'm just looking at the, the things. Um, so yeah, I've been I'm loving those at the minute. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I'd do a video where I show, show you all my makes. Because I'm great at sewing, but documenting what I've made, not so good. Really not so good. I'm great like photographing my little boy whenever I make his stuff but with me I feel like oh my hair is not doing its thing and mm, I don't not feeling it and I just don't want to take a picture of anything <laughs> yeah so as I think like my little boy just looks beautiful all the time so I just want to take photos of him all the time but yeah for myself I just think oh I've made it I'm wearing it and then I can't bother taking a photo so I need to get better at doing that so what I've decided is I'll do a little video where i show you all my makes so i'm just gonna have to photograph all the stuff that i've made and maybe just make a a nice long video of all the stuff that i've made recently um i shared a few things on my instagram but not everything not everything um so i'll do that i've been buying as well of course <laughs> i mean it won't be me i'm not going to show you everything i'm not going to do like a huge fabric haul or anything because I'm just wanting to get back into YouTube again um, just wanting to get back into YouTube again so I'm not gonna do like a huge haul I'll just show you quick things that I've got what's on my sewing table what I'm planning on making and what my next video will be and that'll be it and then so it'll be a short short video just getting back into YouTube again getting me into the swing of things um, 
Right, let me grab what I've been getting then. I've been, you probably heard of D Stash for Palestine on Instagram. So I've been buying a few things off them. I've ordered some patterns, but they haven't come actually. So I need to chase that up because it's been, it's been a little while actually. Um, I bought this. <gasps> Look at this velvet. It is gorgeous. I can't remember how much it was or anything. I don't know what composition it is. It's probably got polyester in there because it's velvets normally are, aren't they? It's got a good amount of um stretch that way but yeah i mean look at that beautiful color and it's got black and it's animal print so could i love it anymore probably not but this is obviously velvet and it is hot <laughs> here at the uk at the minute so yeah that is not getting made up anytime soon but yeah that was from there so i bought that um also instagram is terrible for me because i am tempted by everything and i want to buy everything so first for fabrics tamlin the beautiful tamlin puts these stories up every week of like a bargain fabric that they have and i try to avoid it i try 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 but ugh, i just couldn't so i got this this is like a viscose jersey so it's you know that t-shirt material um and again <laughs> i think i've properly converted from floor says me who sat here with like flowers all over me <laughs> oh my god i'm so ridiculous um from no i haven't gone from i love florals and i love animal prints as well but yeah so i was they had three colorways gold this and a plum and i opted for this one which i was a bit surprised about i was surprised i didn't go for the plum one and now i'm kind of regretting it. i think i saw rachel from stitched up and she'd got the plum one and i was like mm, i wish i had got the plum but i like this as well i had some in my i think this felt more i think i've got like a bag which is like a blue bag and with blue and white bag and yeah i don't know so i got three meters of this and i think it was really cheap it was like six pound a meter and what i'm thinking is the westcliff dress the friday pattern company westcliff dress not made it yet i might not even like it but i just think because it's so lightweight it look quite nice with like that wrap front um so yeah that was another thing so recently again instagram um b m fabrics in leeds put up a little thing to say oh we've got a remnants um box coming to store and they'll be the cheap blah 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 so i was like hmm, okay then said to my sister um i'll come down to see you because she lives in leeds and then i was like oh i'll come up to you um can we just go into town as well? And she's like, yeah, sure. And I was like, right, okay, you look after the kids. I'm going to a fabric shop. And she's like, oh, right, this was your ulterior motive. I was like, no, no, of course I wanted to see you. <laughs> no, I wanted to see the fabric. So she ended up coming in with me. And my child was absolutely feral because he was with his cousin. So because it's like a long, like a shoe on the lady there was so lovely. Normally it's like young girls out there, but an older lady was there this time. And she was really lovely um and anyway she was like oh kids love it because it's um it's like a shoehorn shape and i was like yeah he just was like running he for some reason was like lifting his top up and showing his tummy to people so like these random customers were in and they're like oh my goodness and i was like well what's he doing like how looking at fabric like getting annoyed with my sister for not looking after my child <laughs> I was like, look after your child. Um, and he was just randomly showing his tummy to people. So, yes. <laughs> I was like, stop it. Put your top down. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so, I'll blame them because because I was kind of like, oh, God, they're, you know, acting up over here. I need to just grab the stuff. Um, so, they had, she was like, oh, a lot of it's gone, but we have got some stuff. So, I've got this. And it was all four pounds a metre. Well, four pounds. And then I, she measured them all for me as well, bless her. So I got that. It's not really my thing, this, but I got it. It's a French terry. And it's just got over a metre in there. I thought it was really good value. Four pounds for French terry. Very good. And I like picked it all up and I was like saying to my sister, what suits me? And she was like watching them and she was like, um, this looks good. And I was like, well, I'm just going to get them all because I'm not getting anywhere here. Um, so yeah, good amount of stretch. French terry lovely and i think like i said it was one and a half meters or something so i thought that was pretty good um and then i got this as well Ooh, 
that's nice this is really soft this is a viscose jersey definitely um this will definitely show my lumps and bumps so i don't i need to think hard about what to make i'm thinking the forget me not clementine like a, it's got princess seams and everything um so that might be quite nice and it might just flow over the body as well yeah so i've got that again i think these were all like one and a half meters nearly two meters i think that one seems a bit less maybe that was one and a half that maybe that first one was two and then this one was my favorite Ta -da! i love that i feel like that's they're my colors as well this one um that kind of muted maroony colors so yeah i love this one so again i think that was a meter and a half that one and this one is a cotton jersey this one i think so that's that and then while i was in there thinking i was getting a bag in i saw this and i fell in love with it i absolutely love this cotton jersey um, I think it's like a really good quality one. Poppy Fabrics, um, Otex 100. Um, flowers, yeah, it's just gorgeous. That that olive colour, I love. And it's my colours as well. Black, I love the pops of black because I feel like I can wear that with like my black shoes and black bag. And I know that you can wear that with, that with everything, but I just love that bit of black in there. And then, and then that cornflower blue, that just pop it's just so pretty so i think i ended up getting two and a half meters i was like umming and ahhing thinking oh do i want two two and a half so i was like um, um and they were about to close as well so i was like um um two and a half two and a half two and a half so i got two and a half did i get two and a half it feels like a lot did i get three i either got two and a half or three i can't remember now and i've no idea what to make with it either i just love it love it does it another westcliff so i might make a westcliff in the blue one like i said and if i love it oh god i sound like katie price i love it um then yeah i'll maybe make that one so yeah so that was all my um b and m fabrics them and um, that's last one that was on the bowl that was at remnant obviously i think that was quite expensive um was it in 10 pounds 11 pounds a meter something like that i think so yeah it was a bit more expensive so i did get that one as well but i think all in all i got them and that and i think it cost me like 41 pounds or something it's not too bad um right i'll show you the last two fabrics and then we're done i lied i've got two more fabrics but then i want to just show you about something else as well so um my one of my best friends we plan to meet up every single month we say we need to meet up every single month so every time we meet up we make sure we get something in the diary for next time as well um i just you know you have so, some of those friends i mean not all friends are like that but some friends are just really good for the soul you just we could just sit in each other's company on our phones and just yeah to just make spending a day and you feel all warm and fuzzy um afterwards so anyway we were like oh what should we do and um certain like she hasn't got children but she'll be like well let's do something with with the boy as well then so i'll um this time we decided we'd go to manchester I was like oh let's go to manchester then and i was like hmm so we could go to manchester my boy is obsessed with planes at the minute um obsessed so we went to this i saw this thing on instagram this is how it started i saw this thing on instagram where basically i think it's like a pub garden um or restaurant whatever and it's in manchester airport so you can sit in the garden have your food drinks whatever and you can literally see the runway the planes are coming down like you can see it all so i say it's for my little boy i'm obsessed with planes and aircrafts i just think it's just an amazing engineering feat like how is that big metal thing in the sky and how does it travel so far yeah i just it just blows my mind i just love it I'm such a little geek um so i was like oh let's go there 
and we could go to this fabric shop that I see everyone raving about. She's like, let's do it. And I was like, yay. <laughs> so we went to Abercan's. Um, she drove. I had car issues. Um, so she drove. And I'm so glad she did because it's right in the centre. And um, then we parked in this tiny little multi story car park. Um, you know, like proper squeaky bum time when you're like, <gasps> breathe in. <laughs> So this so small those spaces and multi stories. Anyway, parked up. It's pretty good to be fair. It's much cheaper than Leeds parking. Um, and we went to Abercans. They were amazing in there. I've, it really. I'm not used to shopping like that. I'm very used to oh here's something on the bolt. I want this much. Like I was confused um, by you know the the pay by the kilo type thing it was very confusing for me anyway I had a quick look downstairs I loved some um, I didn't take any footage I'm so sorry I saw a really nice um, like a thick fabric but they only had like a small meterage and I thought nope I'm not getting it unless I know exactly what I can make with it went upstairs and brought, took my little boy's buggy this will make you laugh well it's a bit sad really took my little boy's buggy and I was asked the lady on like the front and I was like oh can we take is there a lift just out of curiosity she was like no i'm sorry no lift you can leave the buggy down here but you must take the child and i just started laughing i was like yeah obviously. like this and she was like oh no um me and my friend were both laughing like oh yeah of course and she was like oh no we have people um at least once a week who will argue with us um about leaving the child down here and i was like what <laughs> are you joking she's like no and i was like oh my god so yeah i found that really bizarre um i'm ridiculous i can't not have him in my sight i feel all anxious if he's not in my eye line at all times so i was like oh okay so anyway I took him upstairs i couldn't look properly upstairs because he was out of his buggy so but my friend got some beauty in the beast fabric which is a big disney person um and then we went back downstairs and I was like, okay, I really want to get something. So now I picked up two things downstairs and I was carrying them and then thinking about them as I was going around and I put one of them back, but then I did keep these two. So these are both cottons. Look at that. Look, it's beautiful. So it's quite like a wallpaper like that. Wallpaper in my bedroom. That, isn't that just beautiful? If anyone knows where I can get wallpaper that is, that is just like that, I'd like it. <laughs> I could just put that on my walls, but it's just so pretty. Yeah, so I got, and I couldn't figure it out. Um, so I had this and my friend was like measuring it and I was like, I don't know how long it is. And it's quilting cotton, so it's thin, like it's short width as well. Anyway, I ended up getting two of them. So I think I've got like four meters of that. And then I saw this as well. <gasps> Ta -da! So pretty. Like a plummy. Plummy. It's not. Is it brown? Is it brown or plum? I don't know. I think it's like a plummy colour. It's it is how it's coming on there to be fair. I think it's plummy. Um so yeah, I've got two of them as well. I think I've got five meters of this in the end because I just couldn't figure it out. Um between two widths um and then we went upstairs they had buttons and then my little boy was obsessed with cars so he was like oh, car tractors i ended up getting like three buttons of tractors i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but they're there um and that's it i think i know i like one more um i got this from the lovely Rachel stitched up D stash account. I'm sure you follow, but I'm sure everyone does. It's her and Maria are like my two favourite D stash shopping um, accounts. They're just amazing. But with Rachel, honestly, when it goes on, well, same with Marie as well. When it goes on, it goes like that. And this fabric. I saw this, I think it was last year, the year before, on Andrea from Beyond the Pink Dolls. Um, I think it was like one of the boxes, and I think it was a Christmas one, and I loved it, absolutely loved it, and I looked for it everywhere, and I couldn't find it, and, but do you know one of those fabrics that stay in your mind for a long time? This was that, 
and as soon as I saw it on Rachel's, I was like, sold! Like, my fingers could not type that sold quick enough. I think I didn't even put an X at the end of it. I was like, <laughs> and I'm sure someone put second as well. And I was like, <laughs> you know, when you do it, and you're like, yes, I won. When you're the only one, you're like, oh, did no one else want that? When I was the second person, it like puts, oh, second, if it falls through, I'm like, <laughs> that's not falling through. <laughs> I'm so sad. That's like my Olympic sport buying um, fabric. So yeah, that's that's a beautiful viscose. Um, yeah, with like little gold flecks. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I don't care if that's not my colour watch thing. I just, I love green. Green and red are my two favourite colours. Um, right, okay. What are we doing then? So what I've made, I've made this recently, I told you that. I've got some fabric left over, so I think I'm just gonna... Where have I put it now? Oh, God, I've just got a pile of fabric in front of me now. Just piles of fabric everywhere now. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of this fabric left over. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I need to overlock that. Um, so I've got just enough, I think, for a little skirt. So I've got some of this elastic. I measured it around myself. Um, and I've made one of these before as well. I'll put a little picture up because I'm sure it's on my Instagram. And I thought I'm just going to make it into a little midi skirt. And then I've got this dress. And then I've also got it as a little skirt as well. In this weather, I thought, because it's probably like a polyester, it'd be really uncomfy. But because it's so thin and silky, it's really not. So that's on my sewing table, along with all the huge amounts of fabric as well. <laughs> um, I am going to be going away next m yeah next month now because we're in august so we are gonna, we're going to be going away. So I need to make some summer clothes because it's going to be a hat. Um, do I want some Jersey summer clothes? Hmm. Should I just take a load of these? These are so easy to make. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um. Anyway, I've won some challenges as well, but I think I'll tell you about that in my makes video. So I'll do that. I don't want this video to be any longer than half an hour, so we're 23 minutes now. Um. The other thing that's on my sewing wish list next in the pile less than the next in the list is now you guys helped me with choosing what to go for with the um so fruity so i did make the s9101 um oh did i make that in fruity i did make it but i didn't post it i've not taken a photo of it Oh, but I, did, I made what you guys put in your poll. I made. And I didn't. I didn't deviate from that. I did. So thank you to everyone that voted in that poll. Thank you. But this was one of the fabrics as well. Um, can you see it? Oh, it's not coming up there. Ah, there it is. So this was also one of the um, fabrics that I'd put up as well. Um, with with along with this pattern. And then the other day I was watching YouTube and I was watching Rowan, the Yorkshire Soul Girl, and she put this and she was like talking about this and you know when you're kind of like half watching, listening or looking and I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I really want to make this up. But and she was saying about how like the big five scare her and they scare me too. I mean I've got a bit cocky because I've made this simplicity in one and I'm like, oh look at me now, I can make big five patterns. But this one scares me because it's got collar, it's got things and it's not they're not hand holding instructions, so I think I'll struggle. So you guys this was one of the options on my poll as well. Um but it didn't win, but obviously I still want to make it. Um but then she said that she wants to be making something as well. So I sent her a little message and I was like, look, do you want to do this together? Not like a collab or anything because she's very busy and collabs scare me <laughs> because then it's a pressure like, oh my God, I need to do this. I need to do this. I just thought a nice casual thing. If she's making it, then I'll make it. And then we can just hold each other's hand. <laughs> 
yeah you can help each other with it i mean i think she'll i'll be she'll be helping me a lot more than i'll be helping her but yeah i was just like do you fancy making it together <laughs> she was like yeah she's so lovely and she was like yeah let's do it chick so yeah it's nothing like a formal thing or whatever but it's just gonna be making it so i thought make it in this i've pre-washed this fabric and everything and then if i like it if i love it if i get the the fit right imagine it in this and I, said, I was sending you like the photos and I was like, what do you think? Come on, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Like, it was like with a little, because it's a shirt um, and I love the fact that, you know, it kind of cinches you in at the waist. And I think that just looks so classy. So yeah, I need to get this skirt done. That'll be then done and dusted. And then that I think is gonna be my next thing perfect it in this because I'm not precious about this fabric and then make it up in that I need to do that in and amongst trying to make some nice summery dresses viscose that I could take away with me um, this one oh, don't look at the neckline too much but the neckline, I can just not get the neckline right at all. I've bias bound it, but look, I've got a vest up underneath. I think I've got really narrow shoulders, like ridiculously narrow shoulders. So you can always see my vest top. Like why? Why is that a thing? I need to, well, I haven't ironed it either, so that probably doesn't help. But it's really like shiny satiny fabric, so I'm really scared about ironing it. Um so yeah i mean i looked i watched lifting pins and needles um vlogs i kind of get the whole bias binding thing but why is it like that like why is it not sitting flush and neat and nicely i don't know but i still love it i've been out and i felt very pretty in it i felt i got like a couple of compliments as well on it while i was out and about um so anyway that is what i have got planned um and yeah so i don't know what i'm gonna do for my birthday um my sister's away and she sent me through um my little nephew made me a card a little handmade card um saying happy birthday and she's she put a voucher for lush because i love like lush, lush massages they're like the best thing ever um so she got me a voucher for one of them with mean, a facial one though and i want like the the full body one that i normally get so i normally get i haven't been for over three years <laughs> um i think it's called the week something i put the name down of the one but it's amazing i love lush and it's just the best thing ever so i might ask if i can upgrade it to that one um what else have i been up to i've been working today because i had a massive mot bill for my car Ugh. So I was like, right, I'm going to do a couple of locum shifts. I'm working today and, well, work today. And I'm working tomorrow as well. And then that's it. Because I think, right, it's going to be my birthday on Tuesday. I'm not, I don't want to be doing extra shifts or anything. Um, I went to the theatre though, guys. I don't know. Um, no, you won't, I won't mention this to you. So I went to the theatre with my sister. I love horror. Love horror films. Obsessed um really 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 love horror there's not many people that i know that like horror but like i forced my husband to watch horror he would much rather be watching like jason state and fast and furious you know stuff like that i'm like no interest in that whatsoever we're watching paranormal activity <laughs> he goes along with it bless him um so yeah we uh, went with my sister because she loves horror so i was like right i'm booking i saw it on instagram again um and then i was like right i book this we're going let's leave the kids um and it was an evening and i thought it was paranormal activity at the theater and i was like how scary can it be i was i was like this <laughs> like this it was amazing it was so so good so 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 good um i think it's 
finishes on the 3rd of August. Um, I don't know if they're going to be doing anything more like that, but it was amazing. If you do get a chance, I highly recommend that you go watch it because it was so good. I was really scared. The acting was amazing in it and like, the twists was just, yeah, chef's kiss. It was very, very good. Um, and we really made an effort as well. So my sister, bless her, she like proper made a little effort. She wore a dress, put makeup on and she doesn't normally wear makeup. And I was like, oh, you're looking good. She's like, thanks, so do you. And I like, I properly dressed up as well. Did my makeup, did my hair nice. Um, I wore my vampire's wife inspired peony, peony dress by um, Fabric Godmother that I've not even shown you, which again, terrible at documenting, but I've made in a black and red silk um, from Sarah from Simple Life Fabrics. Um, it was a nightmare to sew. <laughs> I won't even beat it the bush, but it's gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. It feels nice. And it was quite a hot day as well. Um, so it was just amazing. I wore heels, black heels. Yeah, but you kind of didn't see any of that, but I felt amazing. Um, right, I'm going to leave that there then. And yes, if you haven't given me a subscribe, please give me a subscribe. Um, hit that like button because YouTube will have totally forgotten me by now. And if you don't subscribe, give me a little subscribe because that's a little birthday gift for me because it is my birthday in literally four days, five, five days. <laughs> in five days it's gonna be my birthday so that can be a little um birthday gift to me thank you very much <laughs> and like i said i'm hoping the next video will be like a makes video and then maybe a plans video or maybe i'll just get into the routine of doing weekly vlogs again so yeah i hope you're all good and i'll catch you in the next one thank you bye